It's beginning to look a lot like a podcast. Episode 17. Look at over there. There's our friend Anthony. Hey. He's from The Bible is Funny. Ho. There's Andrew, me, and Josh, and uh, Rachel's wow. off camera. Yes. Hey. Oh, hey. Welcome hey. to the Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Jingle bells. Bell. It's, it's a lot. And it's uh, supposed bells. to be. You're supposed to hang that on your door, and that's really la- that's obnoxious. That's it's. Too why much. were Why were people in days gone by so obsessed with bells? <laughs> I don't know. What did this add? Like what we're putting bells on sleighs? We just yeah. we like they're they just have, obsessed they with noise. Else. Do you think a we horse? We got something that makes noise. Do you think a horse is approaching quietly? Like you think <laughs> no one knew you were coming? <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. Oh, I didn't see you there. Is that a horse? There's no bells on it. <laughs> We Mar- should have had a bell. <laughs> yeah, the, guy, the guy that got first murdered by a horse is like, well, geez, put a bell on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Question time. Um, <clears throat> yes. Very serious. Um, yeah, we've, um, this has been a debate for since forever, I think. I've never shut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never shut up about it. <laughs> Until you were. Um, okay, stop. <laughs> you engaged me. Shh. Today's question. Okay. <clears throat> Should Santa go to prison? Do you expand on that or do, is it we just have to answer? He breaks mm. into homes. He does trespass. Trespass? Trespass. Is it trash? Tress. Tress trespass. <laughs> Uh, say it the other way. It sounds better. <laughs> trespass. I don't know. Trespass. Uh, I would say Santa. No, I, I I love Santa. He's full of joy. He's got rosy cheeks. He does not deserve to be in prison. Okay. Mrs. Claus. That's another for another episode. She doesn't break into homes. I've got some dirt on Santa Claus, Miss Miss Claus. Mm. Oh, but you go ahead. I don't think so. Because then who's going to eat the cookies? Not the parents. Yeah, of course not. Parents aren't going to eat Santa's cookies. Spoil the cookies. Who's going to put the presents under the tree? We're going to have a bunch of parents. Fair point. Glasses of rotten milk every Christmas morning. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah. That's how quick it happens. Yeah. (laughs) That's where glass milk is rotten in the morning. Yeah. That's 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 the way milk works. That's why people cry over it. That's why the expiration date. Oh. Right. That's. (laughs) Yeah. Um. Wait, Anthony. What do you? Santa prison. Yes. No. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't think it's for the it's for the home entry. For me, it's for the like tax fraud, labor conditions. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> show us your W twos. <laughs> yeah. like, what are you paying those elves, Santa? <laughs> this is what I have questions about. Are they just children? This is what I have questions about. That, yeah, for no, those that's fair. for those reasons, I think an investigation at least should be launched. Yeah. Okay. but I'm not. I don't know off the bat. You know, innocent till proven guilty, kind of thing, mm. or without guilt- a reasonable doubt. Without a reasonable Without doubt. A reasonable so you're doubt. saying I no. I think it's guilty till proven innocent. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. At least it <laughs> should right. be. Welcome to the show. Ninja. Yeah! Oh, butterfly. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most beautiful As an empty your mind. You were martial arts. Pop ninja not Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Real talk. What what do you think Santa does pay his elves with? Oh, man. Because you think... Just like they, living? You know... Like our el- room and board? So elves are always happy. They have to be, right? Maybe. I think... Because there's no way you... Like, that's the facade, at least. Yeah. yeah. Could be and like so, a North Korean tour. <laughs> I've heard <laughs> there it is. I've I've heard in North Korea they they get their people hooked on meth, and so that's why that's how they they pay them in meth. So they just continue to work and work and work. They get them hooked. That's what that's what oh. I've heard. That's what I've read. Have you really read oh. that? No, I, no. I, okay, I didn't read it, but I've I've watched videos. <laughs> I on didn't it. read I didn't it. Read it. <laughs> some guy, it was a documentary. Some guy under the overpass told me that. <laughs> and I it was the pizza place it. in yeah. Nashville. I uh, didn't yeah, read no, I, words <laughs> that said that. <laughs> But I just said it now, so that's worth something. It was movies in my head and a dream, okay? <laughs> so we go from elves to meth, North Korea. But that's what I'm saying. They work, they, they're they not seasonal workers, right? Are you right? sure you're not thinking of the Nazis? No, it's North Korea for sure. Oh. Yeah, it was a documentary. It was just a short, um, short film documentary. Yeah, I'll I feel think, like. the name of it. It's a minute and a half. It was a reel. I feel like, um, uh, you know, there's like how cool a place is to work. 
the more interns they have. So mm. if like if you notice yeah. like professional sports teams, we have no interns here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have been applying to be an intern here for years. Oh, okay. Well, I keep getting put into a holding. Uh, this someone's <laughs> supposed to get back to me. We'll call you. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think it's an internship program that just sort of is just, everybody's like, but yeah. it's cool. Cause we work in the North pole, you know, wait, like oh, it's a cool opportunity we're still talking like about North Korea. So <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> he's been applying to be an intern. <laughs> no, I thought there was like North Korea. It's really fun to work here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the slogan. So. Uh, it's the, the billboard walk, driving into North Korea. It says, North Korea, it's really fun it's to that, work here. Actually, the energy in the office is really great. <laughs> Are they on meth? <laughs> Everyone's really excited all the time. I feel like I feel like elves probably do have just that internship feeling where it's like they're there for six months and it's phenomenal. But then it's like, then, then there's some like toxic workplace stuff mm. and they're like, I've got to get out. And so that's why they release. It's only got to get it's out. Like, it's like a six month because once they realize like you can't be here. And so R that's right. Yeah. yeah. The, the elf is like, what does my growth look like here as for my career? And they're like, yeah. oh, actually, um, you can go ahead and head out. Yeah. Do elves die? <laughs> Listen, for, for, first of all, you talk about elves growing my growth here. They don't grow because they're elves. But yes, I don't yeah, do elves die. That's a good question. The well, ones in Lord of the Rings don't. Unless they get killed. This is what's so fascinating to me about elves. Elves have such a range, right? Like, there's mm. a depiction of elves in the North Pole, and we're like, look at that. No one talks society. about elves' range we're nowadays. Like elf. Mm. And then you look at, like, Legolas in the Lord of the Rings. I've and never you're heard like, anyone say <laughs> his name like that. Legolasy. Legolas. <laughs> Like I think, I, that's, Legolas. That's how it's Scottish? spelled, but they have, like, British accents, so it comes out like Legolas. <laughs> but you go, Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> The most Caucasian way to say that. Frodo. <laughs> Aragorn. <laughs> Sauron. So I call, so I call a girl, a, a woman who's really into Legos. Yeah. <laughs> Legolas. Oh, you a Legolas, huh? <laughs> That's good. I always caught you for a mega block bloke. <laughs> but you're a Legolas. Uh, that was good Thanks. but was you've good. got so yeah you've got like elves you know what i mean when we say dragon we're kind yeah. of in a range that's not quite as wide but we say yeah. elf man this could be a bearded short creature in a tree a keebler or this could be a a, a orc killing bozeman yeah yeah because you always see the you see old elves you see young elves you see all ages but are they do Just they different do types. they get initiated into it like once you become an elf you're forever immortal or is it like you're found mm. as an elf or are you born as an elf mm. if you're born as an elf then obviously you get older so yeah. maybe they do die oh I don't, now i'm thinking about elves funerals <laughs> that would now i'm be thinking so sad. dude a tiny casket for an elf that's so <laughs> sad <laughs> now we're talking about funerals there's caskets of funerals that's a, so, it's a far stretch Imagine just a I'm bunch visual of elves learner. crying. <laughs> Dude, that's the saddest. Thing. They're all sad, and then Santa walks Santa's in like, and says, "What? Get get back to work." Wait, Santa comes. Wait, I'm just We're gathered here today. <laughs> I'm just imagining everyone, all the all the kids that watch our show. They're like, "Oh man, the Christmas episode!" And then <laughs> five Talk minutes so in, dark. North Korean uh, meth and elf dying. Short caskets. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Oh, Christmas is not canceled, by the way, so it's good. We're, the elves are the elves live forever. Yeah. So does Santa. It's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Not according to Santa Claus, though, starring Tim Allen. That's true. That is the... That yeah. is, honestly, I feel like that's my go-to Christmas movie. Can we, can we talk about that for a second? What? I think the elves don't like Santa because how quickly accepting they were to Tim Allen being Santa instead of being like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. The old Santa's dead. He fell off a roof. Like, oh, you know yeah. what I, I mean. Get, I but the, the 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 main elf. What was the main elf's name? Do you remember from Bartholo uh, Bartholomew? Was it? Was it? Yeah, I think it was like Bartholomew. Bartholomew. But he Bartholomew. had a bad attitude. Maybe What's just because I think he had it. Wasn't it because like he had like a close close relationship with Santa? No, I think he's just like a, you just he's liked just him. A bitter boy. <laughs> just better, a bitter, bitter, a bitter boy. Bitter lass. That was better really, bloke. And he was bigger, right? Wasn't he? Was, he, the, yeah. he was like kind of. Maybe, I think like maybe he's a hybrid. Twenties. Maybe I, he's not full elf. Oh. Maybe he wasn't even. Yeah, maybe he was like maybe he, he maybe, was a half elf, and they just yeah. brought him in because like, listen, these elves can't. We need a some. We need a. Maybe manager. that's why he hated Santa mm. is because nah, I don't want to get into. He's it. a mug blood. Oh, it's like an it's like an alternative version of the movie Elf with Will Ferrell. Was Santa yeah. his dad? 
That's where that's it was what, that's inevitably heading. Yeah, but I so, didn't want to get So, so Tim Allen was just the stepdad? <laughs> you just had the stepdad vibe? <laughs> it wasn't the stepdad. He was the dad who stepped You're up. You're not my yeah. real dad. Bernard. 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 Bernard that's what it was. Thank you, Rachel. Thank Everyone you, Everyone who doesn't know, uh, Rachel is off camera. That's Anthony's wife. Uh, Bernard. She's, yeah, she Bernard. just saved the day. Um, he was hilarious in that movie, by the way. He's great. He was, yeah. he was I saw a picture of him recently. He looks the exact same. He's like an early comedy <gasps> standout in my mind. I was like, that guy's funny. Yeah. That's, that's he Tim. Looks, he looks the exact same. Bernard. Nowadays. Oh, I thought you were looking at that. I <laughs> also like, was like, what's is going he, on behind is me? Is he an elf? Is he immortal? Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Santa's going to throw up, y'all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid. That's okay. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's, all right. lose it's forgiveness. There's Christmas podcast. Oh, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Oh, my favorite Christmas tradition. Tra- you can call it tradition. Tradition. Um, you know, I'm going to get sentimental. It's not because she's in here. Aww. But uh, every year, Rach and I take a day. And we go, it's like a date. We go Christmas shopping. We get like the boys. We we do presents for the boys. Mm -hmm. And then we just get a lot of our Christmas shopping knocked out. And it's fun. We usually like go out to eat. We usually do like. Just make a full day of it. An escape room. And (laughs) um, so it's actually just a date. and We do all of our shopping online. But um, no. You're just on your phones the whole time. (laughs) That's a joke. We we go out. uh, That's that's probably my favorite tradition. We go out and then we have a really fun party with my family on Christmas Eve as well. We do like a dirty Santa at our house. And all both of our families come together. So that's fun. And dirty Santa, that's like white elephant. Like you get to steal the I gifts. Think like so. I think There's so. I think so many names. Yeah, There's it's, so many names. It's, I could be a dirty Santa. You are definitely a dirty Santa. <laughs> I don't wash With my hair a lot. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey kids, <laughs> just smoking a cigarette. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Sit on my lap. I'm like, get, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we also get really wrapped up in the bad Christmas movies. I don't know oh. if y'all are into those. Oh but yeah, like we've that, like finished them all already. You you so you guys hit we them pretty live, hard. We power through them. Yeah. What yeah. are your what are your what are your thoughts on you go to Hallmark? You do a Netflix? No, we don't do a Hallmark. Who, who we, you? We do like, I guess the cliche ones. I don't know if they're like Elf, Christmas Story. Yeah. Santa Claus. Sure. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, so yeah, the you Grinch. You yeah, say, Grinch. you're saying you've done most of these already. We've done all of them actually. Oh my goodness. Christmas Story. Good for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> You've really been doing it this year. Yep. We, we we always just put them on the background. I have to have a Christmas movie on the background. You have yeah. to, All right? of December. Yeah. Just constantly running. Music, the yeah. movies. Um, when's uh, the last time you guys watched The Little Drummer Boy? I've have you never, seen that, the, the claymation? The claymation version? I've yeah. never even No, I have so existed. many, like, questions about The Little Drummer Boy, like this idea. When did this come out? Like, like in the 40s? Yeah, it was oh, really? in the heyday. <laughs> it was in the like, heyday of the... the Peak of cinema. Bing Crosby was a... St- <laughs> I'm a drummer boy. <laughs> it's really creepy. Is it, is it claymation? Yeah. Oh, wow. Why but, does he have Why does he have the drum? Like, what? I, what? Kind, of, I kind of zoned out. A- <laughs> Ada, uh, my daughter, we bought it for her to watch because we were running out of Christmas movies. And Ada the whole time was doing this. <laughs> <laughs> even, even at 18 months, she realizes yeah. this is... This is bad. This is freaking me out. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, that new claymation Pinocchio is like legit the best Pinocchio to ever exist. The one with um, Poly- Guillermo del Toro. Oh, yeah. Oh. Apparently, it is phenomenal. Oh, del Toro did it. Yeah. It looks yeah. really, really good. Guillermo? Um, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo. Guillermo. What um, is he in? Uh, he's a director. Oh. It's claymation. Like, oh. it's, it's incredibly I don't impressive know names. to watch. Do you yeah, remember that? I don't know names. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember that specifically, yeah. but what is, I, what I'm still yours? just... Re- <laughs> I'm just <It's>, kidding. <laughs> have we met before? Um, Speaking I'm, of, Wait, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just reeling from Guillermo del Toro <laughs> directing, but he did... Because I in my head, he did Pan's Labyrinth, and I'm like, what? There's, like, monsters. Yeah. Guillermo del yeah. Toro is monsters. Uh-huh. That's that's what I always think, because like, he does a lot of, like, uh, horror movies. Like, he just came out with, like a, like, a horror movie short on Netflix, like, a bunch of them. Yeah. So, when I heard that, but I saw clips of it, and there's a lot of movie reviewers that I trust that I go to, and this guy says it's, like, the best Pinocchio version of Pinocchio Man. ever. So, it looks really cool. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! You're a real boy! I got no strings! 
Um, speaking of little drummer boy, should we talk? I want I want to know Anthony your thoughts because I know some people have talked oh. about it. It's old news, but it's our Christmas podcast. The you've obviously have seen the drummer boys at that church on the zip line wires oh, and stuff like above that. Flying. The, yeah, yeah, I have yeah. seen those. So yeah. for those of you who don't know, we'll 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 just show the like just five seconds of it. Yeah, but it's just five or six people in church in this huge mega church being hung up by wires being strung all throughout over the people like 20 30 feet in the air mm -hmm. and they're you know obviously have the drums and you know the sticks and everything Got like to. that but it's for a christmas program not for their sunday service program mm -hmm. program program pilgrim. Pilgrim. <laughs> hey there pilgrim it's uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> but i want to know your thoughts what do you what do you, what is your what was your gut reaction when you saw it oh just um just like the the that Cirque du Soleil had really like this is <laughs> this is too much even for them. No, I I don't know. I didn't think a ton. I don't. That's I right. just was like, there, there you go. There's yeah. there's that's, a thing. That's how I was. I'm like, well, that's crazy. That's kind of nutty. <laughs> that's a little nutty. <laughs> like I didn't. I did. I saw some more visceral. Do you ever like sometimes the comment sections of things like tell me I should be thinking things and yeah. I'm like oh, I probably maybe should have thought of that maybe but I, I should be angry. I should have been more angry or not angry I don't there's I'm times like, where I'm like I'm, I'll be scrolling and I'm like oh that's kind of cool and then I'll read the comments like man yeah that, they're terrible <laughs> yeah <laughs> me too I also disagree <laughs> like uh yeah. Ryan Carr 0309 <laughs> says I should be angry at this yes 100 percent so I was like oh I get some of this now but my first reaction was just like people get into I mean, it's so interesting genuinely because i work at a church and you every it's so busy in december like everybody's working so hard but it's part of people's like traditions yeah. like if in these communities yeah. uh you go to your little church's thing not a little church in this case yeah <laughs> if you're doing the flying drummers you're not a little church but it's like it's just i don't know it's so i'm like people are working yeah. hard and that's my thing like i'm we're gonna go to disney and then the Christmas season, and yeah. we're gonna go see some incredibly expensive like shows. Like it's just like right. like the shows that they put on is, I mean the fireworks, the lights, the actors, everything. Like they're it's expensive. It's a lot of work. But you're rich, and no, I'm not spending money on these expensive oh. shows. Disney is. Oh, <laughs> so we're just we're just watching it like yeah. those people that show up. And so I'm thinking, at the more time I've thought about it, it's like you're people are getting mad because it's just probably cost a lot of money. But there are things that are happening that you don't see that are stage design or maybe improvements to the church that probably cost more money, but you're not complaining about that. You're only complaining about because you can see it. Mm. So I can see both sides of it. And I mean, for all we know, a ringmaster is like a church member and all those drummers were donated. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Or it was... We want to donate all these drummers to your church. <laughs> these guys are like, what? But they have to fly. I think it was somebody... They, they can't touch the ground. <laughs> somebody was like... Um, you know, hey, last Christmas, my true love gave me 11 drummers drumming, and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> do you guys want them? I mean, it, I guess it was romantic, but I I, I just did, need to get rid of these guys. These, all they do is drum. And it's nonstop. Honestly, uh, the worst gift I ever We got. rented out a storage unit, and it's just, it's getting to be too much. <laughs> Gotta feed them. Yeah. But the whole concept of the drummer, like, it's just this completely extra biblical idea you have this like nativity narrative where it's like, you know, come they told me, bum bum mm. like come they told me. <laughs> this is the shepherds. Yeah. To my knowledge, were shepherds regularly joined by a drummer? Yeah. Is that like something that was included? It's like and that, uh, that is weird. It's like in Monty Python. Whenever like there's the guys galloping, he's uh, there's always a guy galloping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the coconuts, it's like that's the, the shepherds with the drummers. Yeah, I mean shepherds were historically mu musical though. It's how they passed time. David. Sure, so, but yeah. I mean, not, name, name another shepherd that was into music. Name another shepherd. Yeah, Aaron Gillespie. He was a shepherd. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> Aaron Gillespie from the Almost, from Under Oath. Or the Omar. He was a shepherd. He was actually found in a field. That's how they found him. He was drumming. They're like, wait a minute. He, Stop. He Everyone covered, pull over. What's that noise? He covered drummer, drummer boy. That's the only name. <laughs> like My brain went black, and there was just his name in the middle of the uh, chasm of you, my thoughts. You mentioned nativity scene. You may have noticed some of our decorations around here. Yeah, it's beautiful in here. You have Mother Mary um, over your shoulder. So the funny story behind this is I was visiting a church in Kansas, um, the, actually the church I found Jesus in. And I was going back there, I was speaking at the youth group uh, like a month ago, 
And Jesus was, was in a church in Kansas. He, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. We're doing a meet and greet today. This is phenomenal. I got to I got to I got to get no. I found you. Hey, can you sign my copy? Uh, he's doing a book signing. Um, so it was late and I was uh, having to take a uh, box out to the dumpster. And so everyone's pretty much gone except for the youth pastors and like close it up inside. And I walk to the dumpster and I see like a ton of wreaths and Christmas decorations. And then I see a full nativity scene in the dumpster. So apparently they're just like, you know, revamping a lot of their designs and this stuff's like from the like that the is 60s. Brutal. And so I jump into this dumpster and I start I couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah. this is the greatest props in the world. If you look in our office, there's just a ton of random stuff. Yeah. yeah. I said, Josh is gonna freaking love this. And so I'm going through and I'm picking out like which ones I want because we drove to Kansas. So I was like, we've got to be picky about who we're bringing back. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought one of our, uh, one of the Magi, uh, Mother Mary, and we have baby Jesus hanging around here somewhere, um, laying around here somewhere. Um, and then I'm, I'm going through and then suddenly the youth pastor walks out and looks over at some dude going through his dumpster and he just like, it's like at the end of a Wednesday night. He's yeah. Just like, yeah. You gotta be kidding me. I have to deal with some homeless guy, you know, just yeah. going through and who knows what's going on. Like, yeah. and so it's like, is there a dead, is there, is there someone right hiding a dead body in there? <laughs> and so he, he's like, okay, do I deal with it? And he starts walking over and then I turn around and he's like, oh, it's not, it's not that it's Andy Danoon diving through a dumpster holding baby Jesus. <laughs> And I'm like, this is incredible. Why are you throwing this away? <laughs> this is incredible. And they, all the lights all still work. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Can so. we talk about that for a second, though? <laughs> that someone at that church had to look at baby Jesus. Oh, I know. And go into the dumpster <laughs> with you now. <laughs> we, yeah, we, that's... Am that's I a, going to hell? That's a really, <laughs> a really tough job. I'm so sorry. <laughs> also, follow up question for Josh: How often yeah. does Andy bring you things from the garbage that you have to like go? No, Andy, this it's, is this should have stayed. Andy, in go the put garbage. it back. I don't know. Maybe like once every two months. <laughs> He's like Andy, a cat, no. a yeah. cat bringing you dead animals it's and like, legs. I, no, his feet. Thanks, I walk in the office. I lay at his feet. <laughs> Dude, what do you think churches do with expired communion bread? They mm. still serve the expired communion bread. Yeah. That's have you ever tasted? Ever have, have you ever tasted communion bread? It, they're all expired. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is a fun fact. We were uh, the the church I'm at. We we were for a period of time like the team involved with Sunday morning would kind of if we were doing communion, we'd do communion like in the in the room where we finalize the plans for the morning and everything. And so we would take communion there together because one time we had a singer take communion and choke while they were trying to sing. Right? <laughs> it's like a sort of dry cracker and they're like, you know. Just Jesus made you choke I a bit of Jesus. Of the- <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to heaven at that point. I don't care what your life is. If you, if the reason why you're there is because the body of Christ <laughs> made you die, breath. that's like, okay, yeah. you want a technicality, yeah. get in here. Yeah. Dude, I've been scared so many times. Uh, end of service or in the end of service communion is being taken and someone walks up on stage like playing guitar my eyes are closed and then someone trying to be nice will walk up with the elements Ooh. and like set it but i have no idea that there's yeah. somebody within three inches of me yeah yeah it's terrifying i thought you were gonna say they're trying to put it in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> Shh, keep singing keep singing <laughs> Just keep singing. Just keep singing. Whispering in your ear while you're talking. It's all right. Just, just open. Up. Maybe it's it comes into the click in your head. Chorus two, three, and communion two, three, take the and element, take two, the element. Take two, the element three. now. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to do like an affirmation click for worship leaders. That's just like sprinkled into the click. It's like you're doing a great good. job. Good job, buddy. But it's very it's selective so of who it is. <laughs> yeah. There are some weird buttons. MDs. MD, right? Music yeah, director. yeah, yeah, music there director. Some, I, had, I was at one church, and the guy, while someone was praying, started mimicking the prayer as a Muppet. No. Yeah, and was at the end of every song. The room was dead, but he was telling the worship. He was like, give God a shout of praise. Say it now. Give God a shout of praise. And then he'd go into a Muppet voice and continue. The weirdest church experience. Yeah, a I, Muppet voice. What do you yeah. mean? Like a. I'm not Kirby the accent. Frock yeah. <laughs> like literally, someone was like, "Dear God, you know, we pray that the you'd receive these gifts," and he's like, "Dear God, I'm not sing a shout it. of praise." <laughs> I mean, literally, <laughs> we're gonna partake in the communion today. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was the last time I played at that church. <laughs> wow, Muppet Man, sing me a song, you a Muppet Man. That's what I mean, the, <laughs> That's the good. Worship. Yeah. Oh, man. Did you hear about the lady that ran the 100-mile marathon? No. No? She broke a record. She ran a 100-mile marathon in uh, a certain amount of time, right? Yeah. And she had to go to the hospital. 
Okay. And then she got word uh, a few days later that they missed it. They miscalculated her route by 716 feet. No. <laughs> Could you imagine? Dude. That's what legit what happened. I watched the um, TikTok video of this girl. 100 mile marathon. Uh huh. Completes it. It's an absolute, like, just achievement of human, like, ability. Yeah. And uh, then word comes out a couple days later, the news, like, nope, you didn't get the world record, actually. Guinness has said, nope, you missed it by 716 feet, which is like, who's counting after? Who's yeah. tracking? The, they're like, well, let's just check. Yeah. Um, this isn't as bad, but I thought it was bad when I saw it. When they did the New York City Marathon, you know, mm -hmm. there's, this, there's this chick, and she was, like, a mile from finishing, and she was passing her friend, and her friend, like, ran up to give her a hug, but, like, stepped on her ankle oh, and just completely no, rolled it, no. and she couldn't finish. Okay, that happens. What do you? What's your relationship with your friend after that? Um... <laughs> You've been, I mean, that's a New York marathon. Yeah. You have to pay to get in, right? And you have to be selected to get in. You have in. to enter a lottery. Yeah. Like, so mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's most likely a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. And they just ruined it for you. What's your relationship? Like, I, I feel What's like. It's a conversation after the. <laughs> probably, yeah. She couldn't finish at all? I don't, she had a mile. Were they oh, going to carry her a mile? I would carry you. I just roll. Hey, you'd carry me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just up and down me and like, no. <laughs> No. What yeah. do what does long distance running feats do for you guys? Like when you, when you I hear, don't run. I don't have long distance feet. <laughs> I have a size nine. <laughs> when funny. I hear somebody ran a hundred mile marathon, yeah, I, I my first I, thought is why I get the record part. Like I get like oh she you're the record winner. I get like you you hold the record. That's something you can die with. But it's like just to be part of one, I guess. People are so, like, I saw videos of the New York Marathon. People get emotional. Yeah. Like, it's a yeah. big deal. And maybe, so I just don't get it. But um, have you ever ran, like, a, a long? In your life. Like, <laughs> at all? <laughs> I run, I, I was running a bit for a while. Have you run, like, a marathon or, like, a uh, half marathon or anything? No, nothing like that. I just, every time I run, I think, what happens if I stop right now? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. My, does my life immediately improve as soon as I stop? What yes. will be different? I'm I'm not happy right now yeah. doing this. And then if I but if I stop though, so I guess there's a degree of like um, training and pushing yourself and having sure. a goal and reaching it. And so there are certain distances I sort of yeah. track with, even up to a marathon. I'm like, yeah, that's like a thing you set Maybe. out to do and you do it. But when I hear somebody ran a hundred miles, yeah, that's psycho. I'm like. But why? Yeah. yeah. But for what? <laughs> Speaking of marathon and running, should we run an ad? <gasps> <gasps> Don't go anywhere! Oh, Andy. What's that noise? What's that noise? They're bells. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know what's better than communicating with bells? What? Clearstream. Wow. Yeah, because that was not very effective at all. And nope. so, what? tell me about Clearstream. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's uh, Clearstream is a thing that you tell <laughs> it's a software uh, not a software program but it's a uh, it's a, um, a website you can use to communicate with everybody in your church your organization in your business through and text through, and email through text email and it's guys it's not that big group chat that's really annoying that you have to mute notifications mm -hmm. or you're always feeling like mm -hmm. awkward because you have to leave the no like leave the group and it says hey andy left the group and it's like oh boo and then you don't know what they're talking about yeah are they well talking said. about you and so <laughs> well said keep going and so you don't get have any of that there's no memes or gifts or anything like that you can have one-on-one -on -one communication but also communicating with everybody in your group and it's guess phenomenal. what they're giving us 10 percent off do you know for how long it got uh, probably like 10 hours no for more, life, more. Oh, for life. We, we didn't do that very well 10 percent for life clearstream.io slash ninja anthony knew it's right here so just go follow that link if you want 10 percent off for your life and then, you know what you can sign up today and if you don't like it then guess what you still have it for life it doesn't matter you have 10 percent off well they don't have it for life they don't pay for it that's <laughs> but just pay for it and just forget about it like they we get do with all of our subscriptions off. okay come on what are you doing sorry clearstream.io <laughs> for support slash ninjas add over <laughs> what a fun ad <laughs> wow, what a great ad. Do you guys know I ran a half marathon without any training or preparation whatsoever? I can believe that. I Because I didn't know it cost. And they're like, yo, but you get free registration because you part, you work here at the newspaper. I looked at like worked at the local newspaper and they're like, yeah, you can sign up for free. And I'm like, oh, cool, it's free. That'd be fun. 
And so I signed up and then I found out it's 13.1 miles. Yeah. And it took me like six hours. And I I would run past everyone that I knew in the city in Joplin and people would video me. (laughs) And at first I was running and then most of it, I was like, I can't walk. Right. So it would just be one of those, like you're like moving. And it was to be on a video later in the day, finding myself like on mile 10 and it's like a wide, it's a wide, (laughs) it's a wide angle video. And you just see this fat guy with a long beard, like barely walking. Yeah. My hips were on fire. I like I fell down at the finish line, which was pitiful because I was one of the like the last. I beat a lot of people, thank goodness. But still, it took forever, and I fell down. I had cramps all day. My hips would not work for like a week. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Absolutely, that, that is terrible. Yeah, I do everything in my power not to run. Yeah, in fact, I hate standing. But then when we played soccer this summer, yeah, we felt it. Yeah, <laughs> Every, we we pl- had a little adult league soccer thing. We've talked oh, about the biggest mistake of my life. So many people got hurt. My buddy Chris like tore his Achilles. Oh like, my word! Like in half. Yeah, like it snapped. The Doing first, something cool. Doing was, like a no. bicycle kick. Nope, just <laughs> backpedaling. He was just much. he was just moving. Yeah. <laughs> he goes ah! <laughs> hey, you grab those cones over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and so, that was like the first game, wasn't it? Yep. Oh man, and then yeah, people just kept getting hurt. Then it got to the point where it's like this is this is not. It was fun. about to ruin friendships. <laughs> We were all it gets yelling. heated. We gotta yeah. go. It gets heated. Well, I think it would have been fun, but we were like literally playing like semi pros. Like they were so good. Like, oh yeah. One game they like scored like twelve goals on us. So yeah. just, like I don't think that's because they were that good. No, they were good. <laughs> they were good. No, they were. They were. They were. They <laughs> I was gonna were say so they good. whoop your butts. So what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I got um, in. I got injured in the first game. But they wouldn't. The city wouldn't let us take on any more players, despite our roster was like in the negative. And so I kept playing. I took almost a thousand milligrams of Motrin before every game, and still was like, I can't run. So I hobbled. So you're doped up. I was. Thank you for framing that as the city wouldn't allow it. Like it was <laughs> yeah. this like multi level conspiracy <laughs> against your adult rec league soccer team. But it was. <laughs> you know, take them down. The. Uh, <laughs> The board of commissioners met, and they vetoed our roster moves. It was unbelievable. We so we asked this question on our last podcast. Oh, give it to me. Who do you think would win in a fight, uh, Daniel Craig, James uh, James Bond, or Jason Bourne? Please think about this. Please think because I actually this. I have another answer for a different question. Okay. involving those two. Okay, Daniel. Okay, and it, do I have? <laughs> Wait, do- <laughs> okay, don't think about it that much. I told you yeah. to think about it, but not that much. My 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 gut tells me Daniel Craig James Bond. Yes. Because there is such a, a a legacy of James Bond never losing until very, very recently. Wait, what do you mean? Whoa. I mean <laughs> I mean What? No, no. I what I was saying was he <laughs> lost his keys. <laughs> Oh, to that car that he did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh. so okay. he found the car. He found the keys. So James Bond is basically no, indestructible. No, no. Is what you're saying? That's got, and we yeah. have such a body of proof. Yeah, like the Bourne series is what it is, mm. and it's like okay, well that set of events went that way, <laughs> but I've seen I've seen the same James Bond since 1914 mm. defeat evil doers yes. yeah. over and over and over again using his you know acumen. Yeah. His moxie with women. But what if you don't have any gadgets? No guns. A gadgetless James Bond? Yeah. Daniel Craig version. Daniel Craig version. Because I was watching last night. He he was fighting a dude who looked just like a normal dude. Yeah. And it was a pretty even match. Yeah. Yeah. All he he had to beat him with a contraption. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing. But when you say James Bond. You're saying James Bond and James Bond as a whole is a hundred percent so gadget and that and that poses this question. Physical. Yeah. If you're in a dire situation, who would you want or who do you think could save you? And I think James Bond could save me, not Jason Bourne. Yeah. 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 I also think James Bond like maybe wants to save me yeah. more. Who you could be the new Bond girl. I Lego Lass. <laughs> I, 
I think I was born to be a Bond girl. Yeah, I think so too. I've, I've always been, said that about that's you. That's the role I was born to play. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I know more about James Bond. Mm. And born, it was, I have such a small sample size. I, I mm. would be more scared to fight Jason Bourne. Yeah. James Bond would kill me like that because it's not worth his time to take his time with me. Like he okay. just, it would just be gone. I've seen Jason Bourne kill someone jump, with a pen. jump from one building window to the yeah. next just to crush somebody. Yeah. I saw him beat like that. That one of the best scenes, combat scenes ever, is when he takes the magazine, the rolled up magazine. Yeah, just swatting them. <laughs> I was like, like, like whoa! I was like, not only are you like, yeah, are you killing them, yeah. but you're taking every ounce of dignity yeah. before <laughs> they do. So when you fall, when you know you're dying, He's you're like, like, why are you grabbing that I'm Time just, magazine? <laughs> Man of the year. Oh, this is humiliating. <laughs> exactly. So when you're dying, you're like last second moments are like, like James Bond. You don't even think you're dead. And then J Jason Bourne, you like, you realize, oh, I'm a nothing. I just got killed I'm by a pottery <laughs> barn. <laughs> a pottery yeah. barn ad. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, I feel like also I just, I want to spend more time with James Bond mm. certainly than than Jason Bourne. He's got better style too. Better He's just style. Cooler. He's but, just But cooler. to Josh's cool. point, if they're both in like a ring in diapers, I think Jason Bourne would yeah. would it would be really no fight cuz yeah. cuz Bond's just a man like mm -hmm. you or but, I. But my my He's just my argument man. that got these guys heated yesterday was uh on the last episode was the fact that James Bond has the quit shaking your head. That's so cool. uh <laughs> J um, Jason James Bond <laughs> has experience and he remembers his experience. Yeah. Jason Bourne, it's a lot of just instinct because he has no memory of his life beforehand. Right. And so that was my thing where it's like he because has he's experienced so many different things. He knows in every situation and different places. Yeah. Like we don't he, have to elaborate could, on it yeah. too much because yeah. we it's, did talk about it last week. Yeah, I'm just explaining yeah. because yeah. the city took Jason Bourne's yeah. memory. Yeah. The city. The city. <laughs> For, okay, you first on the docket, the first on the docket, the, um, we have Jason Bourne. Also, next, um, you know, we have the soccer team issue. We have the Sunday Cool Soccer Team <laughs> petitioning again Another to roster add change. a roster spot. Again with them? Absolutely not. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge. Denied. This is a great Christmas movie you guys should make. The Christmas soccer team. Everybody's hurt. And then you have to warm the heart of the city commissioner. Please, sir. <laughs> Let us add Lily to the so, team. <laughs> and then it's like the, the miracle on ice and where it's like we finally score yeah, a goal at the yeah. end and we win the turn. Because <laughs> inevitably there's only four teams in this league. Y'all make the playoffs. And then you get down to the end and the city commissioner says, uh, after a, a night of you know being terrorized by ghosts, says, <laughs> Lily can play. <laughs> Lily goes in, scores 10 goals. It starts, it starts, starts snowing. <laughs> it starts snowing. <laughs> it's your boss, boss shows up with a check with a Christmas bonus. <laughs> it's a real miracle. <laughs> Jason Bourne remembers everything. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart's in the, in the stands. <laughs> Great job. Um, can you do a Jimmy Stewart? Oh, Who's Jimmy I'm, Stewart? Yeah, I don't know. It's a wonderful life. It's a, for real oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jimmy Stewart. Like he's out. Oh, oh. It almost sounds like Sean Sean Connery. yeah. You give it a little Sean Connery. In yeah, there. I don't. I don't Sean know. Connery. I don't. I haven't watched. Jimmy I always Stewart come. Enough. My oh. Rachel, this is Rachel's favorite impression. I do. She's the, she loves this. Mary, <laughs> Mary, why do we have to have all these kids, Mary? Mary. <laughs> That's hilarious. We uh, 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 Jim Carrey does a really good bit. He says uh, anything that um, Jimmy Stewart says sounds super positive. He's like, oh. Look at that mushroom cloud. It's <laughs> a so nuclear holocaust. That was <laughs> good. Just, yeah, that was better. So you want the just, moon, Mary? <laughs> you want That's a great moon, idea. Oh. I'll get you the moon. Yeah, a lot of those lines of dialogue in older movies, when you go back and people are like, oh, Casablanca, or like, oh, it's a wonderful <laughs> line. You go back and listen to it, you're like, this is jumbled up nonsense. What are they talking about? Yeah, I also love how they talked back then. It was just like, that's like, oh, yeah, you see? You see, like, newspapers, you see? Like, it was like, who talks like that? No one, that wasn't real. It's like, it's like, just, what do you mean the bank's closed? <laughs> <laughs> Your money's not here. <laughs> well, tell the mayor you just lost 10 votes. It's like, wh wh why are we talking like Your that? Your money's in. <laughs> Sherry's house. <laughs> Sherry's money's in Bill's house. Bill's... What? Guys, it's all... It's like, but hey, the, you're here, then who's there? You guys don't really talk like that. <laughs> I 
imagine. <laughs> and just go what right into it. What if they did talk like that, though? I think they did. Because I I saw like this, there was like this interview, like they're interviewing um, like just people randomly. It was in like the 50s, maybe 40s, like mm-hmm. black and white. Yeah. And the whole question was, uh, should the husband be present uh, for the child's birth? And oh, like, yeah. They're that was like, a thing. Oh, that's not that's not proper. Like yeah. they're, they they talk so strange. Yeah, yeah. It's so it, it is weird. Like over time, that n- even in America, our accents change. It's yeah. it's that time. Now, now we talk our, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't talk like <laughs> that. We that talk is. like that all the time. Josh has yeah, been do. talking yeah, the whole yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it was a funny blip though when I I remember reading something about it. Reading <laughs> something in a book. <laughs> the man under the overpass. Um. <laughs> About how American yeah, actors like all had in- English accents in like early Hollywood. Oh, they were like everything was like had this like British. Like well, it's that like, it's that it. transatlantic yeah. accent which I love. I yeah. wish I could just because that's one of the most fascinating like voices just to hear. Like especially like women at that time were just so quick and fast. And I think you're thinking Transformers. Transformers yeah. accent. That's what I meant. <laughs> Oh, a I bunch of Decepticons single. in the sixties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you meant to say Trans Siberian Orchestra. God. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what you're. I'm so saying. sorry. Yeah. Mm. You don't like Trans Siberian Orchestra? What? I it's don't know who they are. Yeah, not really. It's like a. It's like a. Not ringing a jingle bell. A yeah, guitar a hero fan. version of yeah, not all a fan. of your. I think they're a little overrated. <sighs> Just kidding. I think they're great. Very talented people. <laughs> People or person? It's a, it's a crew. Not even a, a guess. That, um, that what does it have to man? do with Siberia? I've always wondered. <laughs> There's no tigers. Is there? I I don't. I've never tracked with it. But mm. people dig it. People dig. Go to a concert. Yeah. And I I've, I it's think we epic. had a family member go to a concert, and they said it was it was fun. So <laughs> g- keep doing your thing, Trans Siberian Orchestra. Way to go. <laughs> Five don't you love these 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 uh like artists these musicians that fall into this like i only work at christmas thing mm, yeah. like where's trans siberian orchestra 10 months out of the year they're yeah, not yeah. like doing a summer tour like no one's no one's like where's my trans siberian cd it's june also do people listen to mariah carey outside of christmas no i don't know any of her songs all, yes oh late 90s mariah i would oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nothing like. We belong together. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a good song. Yeah, I don't care who you are. Uh, Michael Bublé. There's a whole. I think Michael W. Smith at this point exclusively just like guys. I can make yeah. a whole Dude. year's worth in two months. Michael Bublé has hit the it's jackpot. Bubble. It's Michael Bubble. Um, <laughs> Michael W. Bubble. Uh, he's. <laughs> One because he's just the pillar of a the guy for Christmas, right? Right. Mariah Carey's the you know whatever for Christmas, the female. But for him, but then he's also on throughout the ten months a year, he's got that Frank Sinatra vibe down. Mm. Yeah, the I'm feeling good song, whatever. Like he's sure. crushing it. Sing. Like he's uh, just give us a little taste. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, right. and, but he just like crushes it. I see yeah. him like all over on like videos and everything news and like so I'm like that guy has hit the jackpot. It's so funny because he sounds like everyone that was from like the 50s singing yeah 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 and i think that's why he's so like, maybe that's what we need to do like think of like mm. what they sounded like maybe in the 30s yeah and, and start like, making our this, content this like that is, this is so unique yeah you know so just doing that for our podcast yeah that's how we talk all the time this just in <laughs> santa going to prison tune in <laughs> this just in north korea giving their citizens meth <laughs> i don't know I can think of a new story, <laughs> but that's the thing with the, the, that type of accent. You have to be so fast thinking, like it's yeah. like because they're con- like they're moving at a million miles an hour. I, but I, when I think about that, I think they had nothing else to do but talk. You yeah. know what I mean? They also had cocaine in their coke. Good for them. Yeah, they did. Yeah. That would that would speed you up. Yeah. Yeah. But you also have no like phone to look down. There's they nothing else. They you had bells, which everyone was into. <laughs> what do we got? We got bells, uh, British accents. I forget who the, talk. the comedian is talking about the 20s and the 30s when they would say bye to boats. Do you ever hear this? Again? The way they wave. They would the just Titanic. go to a port. <laughs> do we know anyone on that boat? Nope. We're just saying bye. That's Hooray! Because that's one of my favorite bits. To do. I saw that. Some one of my favorite bits is like waving like you're on the Titanic. It's like, why did everyone wave yeah, like that? Wave it, it now, and tra- and like travel's so different now. We just like punt you into an airplane. We don't even say like people see you guys. Who's the first person Get that waved there. as a greeting? 
I thought you I thought you may have read that somewhere. I did read about it. It had um, to have been to get attention at one point. It was a failed like, hey, handshake. over here. It was and a then failed like, handshake. Oh. Is he in trouble or is he saying <laughs> hi? I'll, I'll go find out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? What were you just doing? Hi. It was the first person that, that forgot their. It was the first person that forgot because they were holding a jingle bell, but they forgot it. And <laughs> they forgot was, the jingle bell. I can't hear. <laughs> I was supposed. What to. are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, I, I was. No I was trying to get your attention, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right, now we know. Yeah, I saw. Uh, had to start somewhere. There's that Jack Black movie, and it's absolutely terrible. But I watched it when I was a kid. But it's called Year One, and that's third. That part where. He, like they the first people to clap, he taught them how to clap. And he's like, oh, it makes yeah. noise, yeah, cool. Because they would go like this, where they go ah, <laughs> and they're like, no, whenever you just applaud. That's <laughs> funny. Just, yeah, it was Michael Sarah, right? Yeah, I wanted that movie to be good. Oh man, I, I like yeah. I like the idea of it, like yeah. like them walking and stumbling upon like biblical things, but then yeah, it's like, like they turn really sacrilegious really quick, and I was like, ah, boo. Kind of hurt my soul that you said when I was a kid. Realizing again how much older I am. Two thousand six. Yeah. That I think it was, was. Yeah, that was a that was a kid. <laughs> so you're sixth grade. You're three years old. I am three years old. I was I was three years old then. Back yeah. then, you could trust the city. Yeah, <laughs> you could. It was a time Back in the- when the people in the city lived in harmony, and we all had bells, <laughs> <laughs> and we all had bells, and no one asked questions. <laughs> See, hey there, city commissioner. <laughs> Hello, citizen. <laughs> Lovely day. Hello, milkman. Once upon a time, you could move your roster and no one questioned it. <laughs> <laughs> How tough was it when you were a milkman and then you started seeing it in grocery stores? <laughs> ah! And you're like, I didn't put that there. This will- <laughs> Wait a minute. Jerry, did you deliver to the store? <laughs> this will never catch on. People love getting their milk straight to the. Well, don't they have to go to the store for other things? <laughs> but they love getting the milk don't right you, on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you realize we we deliver the milk at night and by the time in the morning it's already rotten? <laughs> it doesn't last 24 hours. <laughs> the guy that's like holding on the last milkman is like, no, Sean, it's time to find a new line of work. That's weird. His, his wife's at home. She has like a shawl on for some reason. <laughs> you can't keep doing this, Jerry. <laughs> I, have, I have two the clients. Children need, the children need food. <laughs> Give up on your dreams. Isn't that weird to think about? There was a man who delivered the last milk yeah. to someone, yeah. and then it just stopped forever. That yep. was it. Yeah, and that his name that. was <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> that man grew up to be Barack Obama. Holy cow! <laughs> what a what a legacy. I love. I I I I love in a. I just think there's so much comedy in when like an industry dies and yeah. you can feel it and it's like it's happening and you and people accept it early and they're like oh i guess that's not gonna be a thing anymore and so that had to happen Somebody i feel, like, was I feel like, like our like what we're gonna experience is gonna be like way more drastic of like industries like no longer needing yeah people, you oh know? yeah 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 because of all like the ai and stuff right well even simple things like just regular like network tv like who's watching live? Oh yeah, the Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show. Oh for sure. I'm like who's one who's going? Like I would get going to it. <laughs> you are okay. Besides <laughs> you, but like I'm just I'm thinking like TV used to be such a big thing where it's like you go through as many channels as you want. But now it's like Dude. if I can't stream it, I'm not gonna like it's pointless to me. I'm not gonna look up mm. like oh what time is this coming right. on? Or like oh I'm gonna set a reminder. I gotta record. Like what? And we were just talking about this with uh, other professions where you had to go to school for like six years to just gain the knowledge Mm -hmm. needed for that profession. Yeah. And like then now there's moments like we were talking about at our house the other day, this guy, somebody talked a guy through landing a plane, just a guy that was on the plane. (laughs) Yeah. Like there's so much accessible (laughs) knowledge now that it's like, no, you got to go to six years because they got to teach you all this stuff to be a doctor. Like you got to learn all the, what is this on me? Okay. Well now you can Google all of that. Whatever your question is, like you yeah. can, you have access to that information. There's like, kids graduating high school with associate degrees. Yeah, it's like, wh- how is that possible? Like that, like, I, like I think twenty years from now, there's going to be extremely limited colleges. It's going to be all online. Yeah, you're going to have the only thing you're going to have to go in person for is probably like medical stuff or law or whatever. They're going I mean, to make robots to do it's doctor weird. stuff, and that's why I have like a hard time like setting up one of those college funds that like you can only use for education. Cause like mm-hmm. who knows if my kids will even want to go to college yeah. because who knows if it's going to be free online or what high yeah. schools are going to look like. It's like, you have no idea. Did yeah. you go to college? I did, <laughs> but I don't want to, of course he did it. I did, but <laughs> if he, first of all, if he did, 
<laughs> what a low moment for you right now. I did go to college, but I want to stop for a minute and just talk about Andy describing why he's not saving money for his kids <laughs> to go to college. I love this as a bit. No, no, there were a lot of good reasons why there's... <laughs> He's surrounded by Funko Pops behind him. I didn't think it would be a college. I'm so sorry. Dad, we can... Just flipping burgers for the rest of their life. I wish my dad would have saved. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did. I went to college. I went to the they university... delivering milk. <laughs> college for milk job. delivery. Uh, I went to the University of Tampa. Go Whoa. Spartans. Nice. Shouts out. What was your... Uh... Uh, what did you go for? I, um, it's called a major. major. <laughs> you can get a bachelor. You know what? I, you, were, you were looking for the I word. Did, I didn't go to college. I was, just, no, I, don't. <laughs> I was just in this spot. I was literally days ago in this spot. Somebody was like, oh, my uh, girlfriend teaches college. And I was like, oh, what grade does she teach? And they were like, <laughs> you're so stupid. There's no grades in college. In college. I'm Ain't like, it? you know what I meant. <laughs> Everyone knew what I, and I knew what you meant, Josh. Thank I went you. for, I was actually going to go for film. I'm oh. going to go to film school there. And I ended up, um, that I would have had to take another semester due to like prereqs and stuff. So mm. I, I majored in communications. I minored in film and media arts. Nice. And I loved it. Like it was so funny because it's such a like slacker degree program. Like it's, <laughs> you watch TV and movies all day. Like that's what we did in all of our classes. And that's I was pretty awesome. so pumped to like get well, in there and what was your it. What was your goal? What was your dream? Like going in for film? I, I think I just knew I had started toying around with making videos and stuff. And I knew I liked this as an idea. Yeah. It was really like an unbelievable set of circumstances because then I, I realized I really do love communications. Mm. And then so moving into the minor of film and media arts made it way more flexible because this medium changes, you know, overnight every every six months it's completely reinvented. And I was not like dead set on being like a filmmaker. Like yeah, I wasn't yeah, yeah. like, no, I'm going to make avatar um i just was like oh i like this this is fun this is interesting to me and so yeah i would like we would watch like we literally watched legally blonde and, like broke down the script and broke down like <laughs> the stereotypes it plays into and i was like i came to class like all prepped and ready were and, your parents really proud of that yeah <laughs> <laughs> man i should talk to them. i should ask them more i don't know exactly what you're just, you're their just, thoughts were on all of it watching the bend and snap scene from legally blonde and mom walks in and you're like i'm doing homework this is for school <laughs> Is it for my school? But you also watch like international films and stuff. I, I loved it. It was really one of those like, man, this is like. That's and cool. then I met um, one of my really good buddies now that I work with all the time. So I always say like that's that's been my my like saving grace. Nice. It's a lot of college was like, boy, yep. I didn't need that. But I met Rob there who I work with now all the time. And is he the other guy in the Rob. videos? No, Rob is okay. the one who it does all the real work on the videos. Nice. Rob, does, <laughs> Rob does all the like shooting producing like that's the thing about film school is you for, sort of for your bibles funny stuff for like everything wow, except okay, for tiktoks cool. like i mm. that's the only thing he lets me handle by myself cool. um he produces the podcast he does all that because in film school you kind of split where like you're either into the technical side of like yeah. cinematography kind of like working the camera audio etc and then like the storytelling performance side so you me talk and, about rob a lot but i've never seen him listen wait he's right here on the couch with me is, is rob in the room with us right <laughs> hey, now? hey rob <laughs> How's it going, buddy? He has headphones Rachel, on. Rachel's yeah. just like, just, just go along with it. We have a room in our house. He stays with us. <laughs> no, He's Rob, with the drummers. <laughs> Rob lives in Nashville. I can't oh. shout out Rob Hubbard. I like I I I can't stress enough. I can't shout Rob Hubbard out enough. He is Rob Hubbard. Rob Hubbard. That's his name. Hubbard. L. Ron or Hover. L. Rob. L. Rob Hubbard is Hubbard. the your producer. Hubbard, like the wow. old school movie, The Indian and the. Hubbard? Oh, so he's not, right, the right, guy, right, right, right. not the guy behind Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard. I haven't asked him. Oh, you should. But because <laughs> that's that's because apparently he's dead. But if him. he's living in Nashville producing videos for you, this is gonna be a real twist. Bro, I work in Clearwater. Depends on who you talk to. Some people don't think he's dead. Tom Cruise so is gonna be upset. There's <laughs> Scientology freaks me it's out. It's scary. I watched the documentary on HBO and it is terrifying. I read about it yeah. on HBO. It's in our like <laughs> Neighbor, it's yeah. like we're in Aren't the. Are they thick like of buying it. up like all the real estate, like in like Clearwater or something? It's the oddest thing, man. We have oh, like yeah, these little cities, like like Tavares, where we are now. Like it's cool. It's Tavares. Like it's yeah. Tavares. Yeah. Well, it Tavares from like Las region to region. Yeah. How they pronounce it? It can Tavares. Wait, mm -hmm. did the city talk to you <laughs> about the pronunciation? <laughs> That was good. Um, yeah, the city. Yeah. I, I used to pronounce it this way, and then the city <laughs> got honest about it. 
Uh, so you'll have like a cute downtown area, right? Some restaurants, there's yeah, some yeah. like cool places to hang, Quaint. different things going on. Yeah. So we have that. We have like Dunedin and it's hey, cool. Good, and there's good, like downtown. Good word, areas. good word choice. Quaint. That was good. Thanks. Did you say Dunedin? Dunedin. What is that? <laughs> Did you really say that? I don't... <laughs> yeah, it's a town. Oh. It's just a city like <laughs> north of Clearwater. There's just. <laughs> what is that like word? The bo- <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's think about that word for a second. <laughs> I've never heard of that. It's a city, man. What does it mean? I don't know what it means. The point is, there's lots of cities with right. lots of cool stuff to do, and then you get to downtown Clearwater, and it's like, there's no, it's very weird. Bunch of empty buildings. Just a bunch of lizard people. It is strange. Strange. Welcome. <laughs> Drive through. And then there's one There's one Starbucks in there refusing to give up. Just, <laughs> just in there. Oh, Push him through it. We will make chai lattes. <laughs> No matter what comes against us. Have you ever met uh, met anyone in the Church of Scientology? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What they what are they like? Um, you know, they're scient scientologistic. Mm. Careful, uh, <laughs> they're listening. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's we it's it's it, when you're like that in it, it's like people do this thing as much as you can. Kind of like zoom out and be like, why would anybody do that thing? When you're like. Up on top of it, you're like, people do it. And I always think it's for the same reasons anybody does anything. They find a little community there and they are looking for something and that mm. happens to be the thing that falls in their lap. But it is, it's uh, it's pretty bonk- bonkers. Yeah. It's pretty bonkers. I think, it's, so. I think it's fine. Should we join it? <laughs> that should be your <laughs> question. Our social experiment. Actually, <laughs> next fuck yeah. Should we join the Church of Scientology? <laughs> I've actually always wanted to go like undercover in like one of those weird. And that's that terrifying. Really that's ter- that would be terrifying. I almost did it with uh, LDS church. You can't. Oh do yeah? That. yeah. No, you can't do that. What? That's terrifying. Oh, I told you about how I peed in a uh, the temple, right? <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh, which temple? Um, the Orlando. The Orlando. Yeah. That's that the one, was, that I, and you're not allowed in there unless you are. This is an LDS there. temple that you. Yeah, the Mormon temple. Did you be in the bathroom in it? Nope. Oh, Just kidding, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he he wet his pants. That's what he means. Uh, no, I used to date They're, a Mormon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> the plot twist: Lily's the Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and she wanted to show me the temple in Orlando, and we were walking around it. I'm like, dude, I gotta pee so bad, and I'm like, can I just like pee in the bushes? She's like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I mean, maybe we can ask if you can go in, and we like go in, and there's a man and a woman in a white robe just standing there, and they're like, you know, and I look not Mormon. He's also in the Santa suit. I see, yeah, yeah. This like, <laughs> Santa. No. Um, and we walk in, and they're like, it was like literally, they're kind of like, hi, hello. Yeah. And I'm like, hi, I just, I have to pee really bad. Yeah. And they're like, oh, uh, come this way. And he like, the dude like grabbed my arm and like, like walked me to the bathroom, but then like stood outside the door and then like walked me out. Was but he as, floating? He was. <laughs> no, but as we were walking out, there's like this, it was like a eight foot painting of Jesus, a very white Jesus. Oh, okay. And, uh, as God intended. Yeah. My ex, she was like, this painting is so famous in our church because the eyes just follow you everywhere you go. I'm like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, so I've been in a Mormon temple, and I peed in it. Wow. That's a and bucket, on it. That's a bucket list. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was wondering. I feel like every Mormon I've met has been incredibly nice. Oh, yeah. They're, like, there's the nicest yeah. people. I, I live that's in where Idaho. they get you. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Idaho, and everyone was Mormon. And, yeah, there's... But I think uh, the reason why I didn't get along with some of them because they were eighth graders. Mm. I don't think it had anything to do with their uh. religion at the time. But it was just because I was probably a jerk in eighth grade. Yeah. Speaking of Mormon, can we restart his camera? Spe- <laughs> oh, no, man. but yeah, that was a wild, wild time of my life because we were both like trying to convert each other. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that sounds like the Nacho Libre. <laughs> that sounds like, that sounds like a great other, movie. But they like, got married <laughs> instead. That sounds like a reality show, actually. Yeah. Today, we have one Christian and one Mormon that are going to date each other for one year. <laughs> Either they'll be married or they'll kill each other by the end. <laughs> I used to go to, like, the Mormon, uh, like, teenage dance nights. Oh, right on. the Mormon church. That was, that was wild. Where they, they would, like, get into it? They would dance and stuff? Fruit, it was the town Fruit across the town from Footloose. It was a town over. They would, like, real dance or they yeah, would, but like, to, hokey pokey stuff? Uh, yeah, they didn't, like... Yeah, it was kind of like the... Yeah. We're having fun. We're having fun. 
Kind of like everyone's that. out the doors. Have fun. But to get permission for me to go to these dances, yeah, I had to have a um, meeting with one of the elders. I think he was an elder. I don't really remember the titles. They're elder, yeah. But literally, I go in and it was a it was a closet, and he shut the okay. door and it was two chairs and we were sitting across from each other and our knees were touching, and he's just asking me questions. Is um, this before or after you peed in the temple? This was <laughs> during before. <laughs> okay, yeah. And it was really intimidating. And then he gave me a card, but he had to sign off on it as the elder. And that was my ticket to the dance. Did you have to answer questions before he would yeah. sign the card? Yeah. He asked me a lot of questions. Um, I I kind of forget. I kind of blocked it out of my mind. I wonder if something happened. <laughs> <laughs> Are you part of the church? Did you sign a paper? Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I Just guess I'm informant. Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> like, it sounds like a bad TV show ending. Well, I guess I'm a Mormon. Yeah. They're like super nice. That's the thing is like a Mormon. Sorry to go back to this, but like a Mormon would try to talk you into being a Mormon. Mm -hmm. a, si a person that's involved in Scientology often is like not going to yeah. try and talk you into being. It's, it's exclusive. It's the, it's the strangest yeah little subsect of and we've we've even talked about like how um the lds and like the city of uh salt lake mm -hmm. seem to be living very copacetically like salt lake has things going on yeah things yep. are great even though it's like got you know the big mormon temple yeah. and stuff and like that is not the case with like downtown clearwater and scientology yeah like, it's just they they gobble up all the land and they shut it down and use it for nothing so it's strange yeah it's a weird thing they are gobblers <laughs> they are gobblers. are they goblin <laughs> Oh, oh, did you guys see goblin mode was the word of the year? Oh, yeah. Goblin I mode. I didn't understand that. I don't get it either. I, I feel like. <laughs> I just saw that. Lily's like, how is goblin mode the word of the year? Like, what does that mean? I'm like, where was that at? I don't know. Some Who announced the goblin? Oxford uh, Dictionary picks like a word of the year yeah. every year. I know it was like a meme. Uh, once the uh, new Spider-Man came out last year. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, it goblin like mode is like you, you've given up caring. Like a person has given up caring about themselves. Mm. Like I've never heard that. That's like um, it, it, as far as like the way they present, so they're Got not it. like interested in like personal hygiene stuff as much. And they're I think I've, I think I've been a goblin, here. got been goblin yeah. mode a couple times. Since we're life. talking about religion, let's just let's jump into politics. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, who are you voting for? <laughs> what do you think of our current political climate? <laughs> How much money do you make? <laughs> It's chilly. Oh, are you vaccinated? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Don't answer. You guys um, want to see a really something really disturbing? Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, this is my favorite podcast. Yeah, this is, okay. All right. This Do you is, okay? This is. I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna hate this. Okay. You're gonna hate this. <laughs> You're, I'm more in. Hate I'm it. more in now right. than when we started. Oh. Have you ever seen a n newborn baby horse's hooves? Oh, oh no, are they like, dude, soft, bro? You're gonna <laughs> hate this. <laughs> I want you. I want you to. I want you to hand that to. Yeah, you. let's make this. Let's make that the rounds like here. That looks like you like um, roasted some garlic. It's bad, bro. It is the oh most gosh, terrifying I... thing in the world. We'll show a picture of it right here. I'm trying not to gag a little. <laughs> it's terrible because apparently they have to have, um, there's a whole explanation with it. And Hank, Hank Green shook. goes, Hank <laughs> 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 Green, like, Hank, Hank Green goes, I can't look away. <laughs> trying to make no. sense of what Be okay, is Because what? They're, uh, they're animals that, you know, in the wild, they're obviously going to be something that's going to be uh, preyed after. You know, and so they're they're in danger. So and they have to be over. Able, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, um, but they have to be able to get up and go. But also, they can't have full on hooves with inside because it'll damage the mom. And so, that's let me see it one more time. It's like soft and like I'll send you guys the video. But it's like a Hank Green kind of explains the whole science oh of gosh, it. I want to it's, dude, it's when I saw it, it, it was like this is a nightmare. Why do that's I see a, a blue crab? <laughs> yeah, I see you know, you know sand fleas. Like oh, oh they do. Yeah. it's like a sand flea. It looks like sand yeah. fleas. Yeah, it does. That's and that's terrifying. I don't know why. This is not. I don't know why I showed you guys Can that. I, but I just call it seafood. Be really interesting. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas music, yeah. 
Can we talk about that Sam Smith song that's on the radio right now? Unholy? Unholy. Yeah. So terrible song. Catchy. Catchy. I'm saying terrible lyrics. Oh. So okay, this is what I want to unpack a little bit. I had you guys on my podcast mm-hmm. a while ago and we talked about music and mm-hmm. you, you told you introduced me to the Miami uh Jewish Boys Choir. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're welcome. Which I'm super appreciative yeah, of. Yes. I found out recently. You wearing their merch? I found out recently I have Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Heritage, yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Big shouts out. <laughs> Ancestry.com uh, uh, taught me that I have Jewish heritage. Nice. So now, Shalom. <laughs> Is that how they do it? Yeah. I think you have to twirl <laughs> three to, times. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And so we were talking about that, and you said you were you were like that song was so catchy, and I thought the same thing. First time I heard it, I was like, yeah. "This is so catchy!" Like, mm-hmm. man, and it actually came out around Halloween time, so it was like yeah. kind of like spooky. It yeah. was kind of cool. Yeah. And then I was like, "Yeah." So like three times through, I'm just like, <laughs> and then you start hearing the words, yeah. and you're like, "Oh, okay, oh, okay." It's oh, kind of one of those like uh, it's about a father cheating, just cheating on someone. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah. And then it and then you're like, okay, that there's songs about, you know, people stepping out mm. and it happens. Yep. Yeah. I know. Mm. None of us like it, but no. it happens. Yeah. yeah. There's a line in the song that's like something, something, something. He left his kids at home. Ba-na-na-na-na. And I was like, Oh jeez. Like that like you have such a cool like the music is cool. It's so cool. Why not just make cool lyrics? But here's what I discovered. Oh. I think it's actually like a PSA as to why you shouldn't cheat. Because uh-huh. most songs just do like kind of the sexy bit. And they're like, nah, 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 nah. They're, they're doing their thing. <laughs> this song includes the line, he left his kids at home. Really puts into the listener's mind. Do you think that's Sam Smith crying out for help? He's <laughs> like a person My experience. daddy's unholy. <laughs> like um, he was, you've left. It like German she, almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so holy. <laughs> <laughs> to introduce the idea that he left, like you wouldn't, if you wanted this song to yeah. just be sort of like, like what most oh, songs are, uh, you wouldn't be that's like, getting real. It's his like, kids got a baseball game. <laughs> he looks in the stands <laughs> and his dad is not there. Yeah. So I feel like Sam Smith is actually introducing yeah. the cost here. Yeah. And he's saying what? like, no, no, this is obviously My a bit. dad never <laughs> played catch with me. <laughs> and it makes me sad. And it makes me cry all night. <laughs> that's what he that's when he goes to his therapist. He's on the couch. He doesn't yeah. talk. He sings yeah. all <laughs> to get through all the pain. Yeah. That's his coping Smith. mechanism. He settles down on the couch and he's like, two, three, four. His therapist starts the track. My Sam thing was S- well, let's, Sam Smith, if we know you're watching. Yeah. Um if, if you just want to hug or to talk uh that's through. You hey, know, we have a couch. Yeah, we have a couch. We can, you know, we can, we can help you through it. You can sit right by Anthony's friend, um, Rob. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Rob's here right now. Yeah. Rob. But Sam could come later. Yeah. Yeah. I thought. I think that's what the song is about. I think it's about you know realizing yeah, the cost of, of your promiscuity. So good song. That. <laughs> so I would. That's where I was. <laughs> so like, listen. Good song. Not great song. Honestly, important <laughs> song. You should probably work that into your next uh, worship uh, at church. <laughs> Do it if the you haven't is, completed your Christmas set yet. You could pass that off. Consider it. Yeah, consider it. Has anyone done something holy yet? Like to make it made it melt like you a know somebody a, has somebody doing in, something really holy. The church that that had the video go viral with the, all the drummers, they're like praying someone does to take yeah. the heat off of them. They're like, look, yes. they're worse. They did something worse than us. <laughs> Jesus saved the blind and it was so good. (laughs) It was something super holy. Can we make an... (laughs) And then the quartet comes in. Can we make make an like a kids bop album? Yes. But we pick like the intentionally just the most... Really bad songs. Graphic, terrible songs. Yeah. And we we really make them... Yeah. Make them more palatable for the youth ministry. That would be actually be really fun. I feel like that would be such a fun project. But we may, we go all out. We hire like children children actors. We get like green screens and like it's the whole music video is brightly colored and everything. Yeah. Be we great. can do, I don't know who sings it, but it's the Super Freak song that's on the radio. We could do Super Meek. Mm. <laughs> super Meek. I like it. That's I'm good. Super Meeky. <laughs> This would That's sell. Great. This would go double platinum. I think so. All right, let's get on it. Yeah, let's talk to the you Scientologists. You guys can't that, that idea. The That's Scientologists ours. have the connections. We could probably talk to them. <laughs> Figure something out. 
<laughs> oh, well, Merry Christmas to one and all. Oh. Man, Anthony, thank you so much for coming. Listen, guys, Anthony, I want to give you a compliment. Oh, okay. Oh. Because uh, I, don't, I don't give these compliments out a lot, okay? But, no. you but, know, but honestly, to be real honest, you are killing it with the video and the meme game. Because... I think I don't think there's one creator that I know that's been as consistent all across the boards. Like, I don't think you were like the first person to start doing TikTok reels and stuff like that. But when you started doing it, mm. you've been consistently doing it and consistently being funny. And so, in that way, you've been absolutely and it's Bible it. based. And, and it's Bible and based. It's, it's based. something super holy. Yes. Mm. Yes. It is super holy. And then he puts out content that is super holy. And we love watching all of it. <laughs> nice. I That's really that was good. I, <laughs> let me say this, since we're being sweet on our Christmas Ugh. podcast. You guys, I know behind the scenes, talked about doing a podcast for a long time. Yeah. And you did it. And it is phenomenal. We did. And I know. I know. We did a thing. From starting my own podcast, it can be hard. And it can be like, there's so many podcasts out there. And. I'm just going to be another podcast and there's all these thoughts that go in your head, but you guys have done something really interesting and unique and hilarious wow. and it's really, really good. It's, this has been, this is, you guys are crushing. I'm, I'm proud Thanks, to Anthony. have watched this, uh, this cocoon blossom into a ninjas are butterflies. Wow. Wow. So Thank do you. I have to Thank say you, Uncle something Tony. sweet now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew. What a you're you're a really nice guy. Say it louder. What did you say? Andrew's a really nice guy. You're mumbling. Say it louder, please. I think I think Andrew's Andrew, you're a really nice guy. Hey, oh. someone compliment Rachel. Rachel Anthony, compliment Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Doesn't she do like a lot of your merch stuff? Like your like uh, the cards and the um, getting all that stuff ready. Rachel and like building all that. Rachel does so much. Rachel gives is Rachel hard, Rob? Brag, brag on your Rob. <laughs> Wait, <it's> Ra <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so does Rachel, when she has to be mean to me about something, like say it's not good, she puts on a mustache and she comes out of the room and she's <laughs> Rob. That's how that's the character. No, Rachel does so much. She gives me a hard time sometimes when I say Bible is funny and I'll say we are doing a thing, like we oh. made new product or something like that. And she's like, it's not we, it's just you. And oh. I'm like, Take I'm always credit, like, Rachel. truly it's not because... If it's not like actual, like, yeah, helping me package or something very practical like that, she'll like take the kids. She's always like g giving me space to create things. It doesn't just appear out of thin air. You have mm. to like kind of carve it out. So Rachel's nothing happens without Rachel and Rob. I, I <laughs> basically am the one that is superfluous. I could be replaced. Rachel and Rob could not be replaced. Wow. Like that. Like don't ever, that. Don't ever forget it. Yeah. Okay. Don't ever forget it. I am so sick of all these nice things. <laughs> Now let's go around and let's, okay, let's finish on this. The icks, that ick trend that's on TikTok. Yeah. Now we have to go around and share an ick about one another. Okay. Something that just. Where do I start? <laughs> Let me get my list out. <laughs> I've actually With got, something that we don't like about so, each other? So, no, something, don't be mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're the but one I'm, no, asking I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, but I'm saying not like, oh, oh, like we're getting real personal. No, just something that's like, yeah. that's a uh, an ick, which is something that like, that's just a bother. Like, you're like, why do you do that? Like, um, when I do that noise, that why, you don't why like. are you the way you are? <laughs> where um, do you where do you where do you get off? My ick w about you. Yeah, get, hit me. Um, mm. the fact that you don't have a dad. <laughs> and <laughs> honestly, and that really, kinda, that's kind of my own ick too. <laughs> it really annoys me. In fact. <laughs> It's, 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 it's annoying. It's made you into someone that I wish never existed. Oh my god! You know what? That's fair. That was a you asked. A, I kind of just threw that. It was a softball. Also, player. your weight. <laughs> <laughs> just go super hard into it. Oh man! What about me? Uh, I think um, I think sometimes you're too nice. That's my ick. No. For now, real. do you feel bad? No. Now do you feel bad? No, I feel bad. I think I think I think you oh you give up too. I don't, we don't get to hang out too much because you spend too much time doing charity. Mm. That's a bummer. <laughs> you cancel all of the plans we make because you're doing some charitable event or something. Yeah, that really bothers I me. I do. He's always yeah. doing that. Um, but Anthony, Anthony, let's t let's talk about our ex about Anthony. Anthony, um, I feel Go like ahead. you're taking you're you're trying to be the most attractive bald man in Christian content, mm -hmm. and I and it, that kind of if I can say it ticks me off. 
Whoa. All right. We'll blo- we'll we'll of course yeah. like blur that out <laughs> yeah. when this goes live because yeah. yeah. of the language for the yeah. kids. Yeah. I don't like your face. <laughs> <laughs> Girl same. No, I love same. your face. It's such a it's such a iconic face. That's so funny cuz I feel like it's the opposite. No, I feel like I have such a like a vaguely familiar no, face. You have, you have a nice face. Yeah, I think that's true. Your I would say that nice. about myself. Hey, you got a nice face, Tony. <laughs> yeah. hey, I like your face, Tony. Breaking news, Tony's face, very nice. <laughs> this just in, Anthony's face, nice. <laughs> All uh, milk, rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the weather. Mailman, in shambles. <laughs> no, I, I really genuinely, ha- like the amount of time people are like, don't I know you from somewhere? I'm like, no, I just have like a very base level face yeah i think just, we mentioned that yeah before. That's, you just that's, look at me and you're like yeah you look you look like standard white guy somebody face. you like a ball white guy is that what do a lot of people like just trauma dump on you whenever they like meet you because they feel like they already know you so they're just like okay we're already there so so whenever my mom uh chose to like not show up for my school play i was just really you know, like okay i don't i don't think we're there yet mommy didn't show to my christmas program <laughs> Um, I think your resting face is mm-hmm. very nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's like Aunt, uh, Andy does not have a good resting face. So rest hey. your face. Rest. My, I'll rest mine. Okay. See, oh, he looks geez. angry. Yeah, you do. I you have, have the, We have both types of RBFs, but you have the resting blessed face. Ooh, yeah. this is my resting face. Your <laughs> <laughs> your eyebrows are are. Are really turned a against li- a you lot. when you rest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My my daughter, uh, who's four, Zola, she has my same eyebrows. And yeah. I feel like it's gonna. She's because she has the the point, and it's just down. And I'm yeah, like, you look angry all the time. You just built. You built different. I know. Andy just, got that I'll dog in him. <laughs> got that dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> That's Josh, my. Do you have that dog in you? Uh, what? <laughs> do you have that dog in you from that yeah, trip? Yeah, yeah, from show that. Us, show me. <laughs> That's I from, got that dog in me from that like trip to Rogan. China. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do have that dog in me. <laughs> it's totally still there. And we, then it left my body. That was our. That was going to be our question today, but we wanted to go Christmas themed. We were going to be um, our. Uh, should we be allowed uh, to eat our house pets? Our house pets food. Be allowed oh. to eat your house pets <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a hundred. That's easy. They are food. Should we eat them though? Oh, wait a second. Not like their food. <laughs> eat them as food. Eat them as food. Oh. I mean, push comes to shove. <laughs> yeah. Right? We yeah, got a yeah. goldfish that would be a snack for somebody. A betta fish. Yeah. Excuse me. Betta fish. That record goldfish that was caught? No. Or grown, maybe? It was like 67 pounds. That's insane. But those are that, goldfish, like, don't they, like, no matter what space they're in, they'll just grow into, like, they'll continue to grow until they outgrow their space. That's Harry Potter. Goldfish? <laughs> goldfish come from carnivals, don't they? The ping pong game where you throw the ball in the yeah it's kind of like that's where they're yeah that's where isn't they're, that where all goldfish start yeah, that's where they <laughs> were created they it's kind of like from there it's like guinea pigs on the, seventh, on the seventh day God created the goldfish at the carnival at the carnival yeah, yeah it's like guinea pigs you've never seen one in the wild like no. where do they come from they Not do eat guinea pigs though in like Peru or something like that's like their staple I can't imagine that's good probably it did like, like a little dumpling maybe little it's like rabbit. rabbit like rabbit or frog maybe. yeah some yeah. of these. We are in the south, like squirrel. Squirrel, yeah. Squirrels get eaten. I'm you just imagining, had- dude, hunting for guinea pigs would be fun. Yeah, that'd be like, <laughs> like they'd be like, like smaller rabbits. They would be terrified. Yeah. What? It, like, I'm imagining though, if you shot it, it's just obliterated. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> great, I got it. <laughs> I think go? so there's blood yeah. everywhere, but no remaining animal. Huzzah! <laughs> First of all, I don't want. I, I want to take that back. I don't think hunting guinea pigs would be fun. I think I, I think I should go on record and say sad. that's not going to be fun. There's like, <laughs> hey, Andy's coming over. Hide your guinea pig. <laughs> Why is Andy's resting face just pointed towards my guinea pig right now? Did that guinea pig do something to you, Andy? I'm gonna kill that guinea pig. <laughs> Guys, I don't hunting guinea pigs. I don't, wouldn't. I don't know right now, but I think I'm gonna kill that guinea pig. <laughs> And he's like, and he's like, honey and guinea pigs wouldn't be fun, and that's why I'm not saving for my kid's college <laughs> education. So this is our Christmas episode. Yes, and that wasn't obvious enough. We now have the record for the longest episode. So you're welcome. What? Yes. Yeah. That's how fun you are. Oh, we man. love having you, Anthony. Thank you so much, guys. If you are not following Anthony on Bible is funny on Instagram, Bible is funny on TikTok. What mm. else do you have? You have you sell. Uh, really hilarious uh, like holiday cards, greeting cards, greeting yeah. cards, Valentine's Day cards. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Yeah, it is. You guys do always like fun bundles for that. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. 
That's some mugs. Mugs. Yeah. You can get all that's all on the and, on the Etsy shop. And you you brought some for us today, right? I brought some mugs for I left them out at the at the desk. Cool. Then you totally missed that plug. So they're <laughs> um they're out there. <laughs> you should get some. Uh yeah, yeah. Bible's funny, TikTok, Instagram, are podcast. You work, are you working on anything right now that people are should be looking forward I to? Am, I actually am. Oh. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this. I have He's, a card game coming out yeah you mentioned that before so what's super pumped about when's that coming out so it comes out in june nice you can pre-order it now uh uh, but it's like a apples to apples style cards cards for humanity yeah Yeah. it's uh you know cards against humanity style where you get like a prompt and then you have a bunch of uh, bible verses that you can all play to try to pick the get the funniest one we've kind of played a test version of it and it's super fun i'm I'm very pumped on this card game that's awesome so how about this when When does that come out June. Uh, June. June. Mm-hmm. So let's have you back on in June, and maybe we can ha- play a little bit of game. Play, fun, right? play a little bit of game. Play a little bit of game. <laughs> play that game when it comes out in June. See? <laughs> a new game for the kids. <laughs> play a little bit of game when I come back in June. Your grandmother enjoy it, too. <laughs> fun for the whole family. Absolutely. All right. I would love that. Thanks, we Anthony. We love you, Anthony love Rachel. You thanks for coming. We love you guys. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful time. Apologies to the Scientologist. Mm-hmm. We love you. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. But shout out to the Mormons. I guess I'm part of you now, so where do we meet? <laughs> All if, right, they, if they don't like it, you're in trouble. Oh. Hey. Oh. Ninjas. Bye. Oh, butterflies. Uh, before we go, Anthony, um, <laughs> we're back. Pitch, pitch, pitch Sunday cool to yeah, us. Yeah, just uh, like do it in 10 seconds. Sunday oh, yeah. cool. Why do you love Sunday cool? Dude, Sunday cool, whatever you need, customizable swag, shirts, hats, stickers, whatever you guys need, Sunday cool has it. They're great to work with. Designers here are wonderful if you don't have a design. Sunday cool, you need it, they got it. What's the website? Uh, www.www.sundaycoolcarl.com. <laughs> dot net slash gov slash ninjas or butterflies dot gov dot net <laughs> sunnycool.com go thanks <laughs>